Yes, sir. Uh, thanks for being here. Yes. Uh, I think we all appreciate that. So my name is Gabriel First, I live here in Missoula. And I guess I wanted to express my, my disappointment. I know budgets are really tight right now at the city and county level especially. And, uh, and yet you filed a lawsuit against the Billings Fire Department for apparently uh, for doing their job. Yep. And I wondered if you have uh, any explanation for that. Yep. I think we could really use an explanation. Yeah. Happy to do it, and actually that is incorrect. Uh, the last lawsuit has not been filed. Uh, we have not served the paper. What we asked the city administrator to do is allow us an opportunity to move beyond the two-year statute of limitations for the purposes of putting it in, the, in an insurance claim on the damages that occurred as a result of the fire. And she said no. So the only opportunity we have to protect ourselves, and, and it's not about the firefighters. I mean, you don't blame the soldiers in Iraq for the actions of the Pentagon. You don't blame the firefighters in the field for the actions in City Hall. And the difficulty we have with the decisions that were made by the city administrator or the people that were working for her and the fire chief, not the firefighters. And so there were damages on our place. And you know, it's kind of interesting, and, and somebody had mentioned the, the, um, the argument or the problem with urban interface and some of the interaction that's going on in River Valley County and, and, uh, and, and the, uh, the governing officials. And we see the same kind of a problem on the interface that is occurring because our ranch is so close to Billings that our property is, is protected by the city of Billings, but they're not really very good or knowledgeable at this point of range fires. And so you don't go home when something is burning or you know a tree is smoldering or a cow pie still has, has, uh, has smoke. Uh, we just kind of know that in the country. Uh, there was nobody on, on scene when it blew up. And the difficulty is it started at one acre, it was put out, they went home. The next day, it blew up to 10 acres, it was put out, they went home. A couple days went by, well, you, you don't leave. You stay and you mop up and you clean up and such. The next day, it went from 10 acres to 1,100 acres, and nobody was there. And so all we're trying to do is suggest that, that we had to remove the dead trees, we had to replace the pipeline that burned, we had fences that were destroyed. Give us an opportunity to go to the city's insurance and ask for an opportunity to put in an insurance plan for the damages. And I guess I asked you, is that unreasonable? Well, Congressman yeah. Deborah, it's a little disingenuous because the cities in Montana are self-insured through the MMIA. So you're basically asking the city administrator in Billings to hold open the statutory deadline for filing a lawsuit and expose no, their citizens no, no, to no. future claims. It, no, that's, that's not correct. Said. That is absolutely incorrect. We didn't ask them to keep it open for the purposes of filing a lawsuit. We asked them to keep the period open for an opportunity for us to ask the insurance company which you cover the, the damage. And that insurance company is the Montana Municipal Insurance Agent Association, which is a self-insurance association of Montana municipalities, premiums paid by the taxpayers of the of the uh, member organizations, and if you're filing, filing an insurance claim, it's going to raise the premiums for billings because they made a decision not to put their firefighters in danger. Four times. In danger. 